from Illinois to Italy, welcome and welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans from around the world. It's your host Galadon, thank you so much for stopping by today's video where, yes, now I admit that I have completely forgotten about this entire feature of Clash of Clans for about a year. Revenge. Absolutely amazing experiences in revenge recently and possibly one of the best revenges I've ever had. Now, if, if you're not trying your defense log once in a while, no matter what league you're in, okay, obviously not in Legend League, but any other league, you're missing out. Just like you're missing out on some of the best Clash of Clans YouTube content if you're not subscribed to the channel, and you're missing out on a great and free opportunity to help out all creators, because you don't have to put in creator code Galadon, but click that little white C before you make a purchase in any Supercell game, and you will be helping to give back to a content creator that is working hard to bring you entertainment like today. So, yes, best revenge ever coming up in just a moment, but let's talk about revenge in general in the first place. Shouldn't we all be offended at the fact that other players are violating our base, destroying our buildings, and taking our hard-earned gold elixir and dark elixir? Yes, this is unacceptable behavior. Okay, okay fine, it's, it's the whole point of, of, of the game, but I'm, but I'm saying we should still take it personally in a fun way. And we should use revenge every chance we get. And I think that the Clash of Clans team has a huge missed opportunity here because you should be notified with an extra special notification whenever you are revenged. You know how you get it on your phone, on your tablet, it says so-and-so has attacked you. But I'm telling you right now, if I saw that somebody had revenged me, that would, okay, wait a minute, that would infuriate me and then I couldn't revenge their revenge. I couldn't avenge their revenging my, it, okay. Maybe you, how about if you could double reverse revenge somebody? How about if there were unlimited, re okay, that wouldn't work, but that, that would be fun anyway. Okay, I've gone way too far down the rabbit hole here, but I'm just saying, wouldn't it be kind of cool if you knew that your opponent was getting notified that you revenged them? You didn't just attack they attacked you, they stole your loot, you went back in, and you executed an amazing revenge. And these amazing revenges are huge. I'm telling you right now. Now, obviously, it depends upon... Look at the trophies. Okay, first of all, look at the trophies and the loot available on this base. This was insane. I was mind blown when I saw this. But then I, of course, remembered it's common sense. If your opponent gained trophies and or you lost trophies... The revenge offer is going to be monstrous as it was here, 52 trophies. For those of you asking, 59. 59 trophies is the most that you will ever see in the game. That's the most that you can gain from a three-star attack. Now, speaking of three-star attacks, of course, I'm not running a really three-star style army, which shouldn't matter unless your goal is to get in and take not only every shred of loot, which could be done, of course, just with the sneaky goblins, but take all those trophies. All 52 trophies are going to be mine because, well, this guy either doesn't care or left up his 2023 celebration slash progress base. Nonetheless, this is not the best defense ever. That one's coming up in just a moment, but this one was a blast because we, of course, picked up three stars. And I mean, okay, you're missing out. First of all, now, even if your idea isn't to gain revenge. Your idea is, I want more loot or more trophies. You should still be clicking your defense log and running down the list every day because you're going to get offers of one or both. As you see here, we got all of the loot. And of course we stuck around. Of course we're going to stick and see if maybe, just maybe we can pick up the three star and take all 52 trophies just because it would look awfully good and Perhaps Ali would be a bit shocked when he logs on and sees that loss right there. Okay, so here it comes. Best revenge ever gets even better than 1.1 million of each and 52 trophies because look at this offer. As we geared up, we found a recent defense and where where was it? It was one of these guys and he, he did a pretty good job. And this is, by the way, I always examine and make sure that I am going to be able to get more loot back and more trophies back that I lost. That is the key to a successful revenge. And here you go. Town Hall 15. Yes. Okay, fine. He's badly rushed. So perhaps he needs to be taught a lesson for picking on little Town Hall 14s like myself. 1.5 
million of each gold and elixir and 53 trophies for a three-star win. Now, again, had I been thinking ahead, we would have trained a nice Queen Charge hybrid, gone in and wiped his base out completely, but we were panicked. When I saw this, I thought, oh man, what if he gets shielded? What if somebody else finds this as a huge offer and he's not shielded? So that means in multiplayer, some searching attackers are going to find this base. And I thought it was a miracle that I found it at all. So we clicked attack immediately and went to work on making sure that we took every last piece of gold, elixir, and dark elixir. And look at the numbers right now. You see that? That's because we've destroyed every collector and the remaining loot is just in the storages. We're going to make sure we get in there by dropping in the heroes and the siege on one corner right here, using the rage, and perhaps if we can open up the core, some invincible gobs. You heard me right, invincible goblins. As they fly past the Grand Warden, he activates his ability. They are in the core. There's a rage spell, and oh, it is absolute pandemonium, showering elixir and raining gold. We annihilate the core of this base. And yes, we are not anywhere near done. It was at about this point in the attack that I realized, hey, wait a minute, we've got a shot at three-starring this. My Archer Queen, my Grand Warden, they're still around. We've got a ton of spells, 36 Sneaky Goblins. I'm going for the triple. The beauty of this is a Sneaky Goblin is an amazing offensive troop once you've taken out all loot bearing buildings and sure enough as the queen and the warden round the corner right here it leaves only a gold storage and the clan castle once those are down the goblins are going to help annihilate any other outside buildings but for the most part the heroes took care of that we run the sneaky goblins in with the jump spell there goes the gold storage on to the clan castle and eventually through the clan castle with about two dozen sneaky goblins left Okay, fine. It, it took me another effort here to get through the clan castle. The heroes are gone, and we only have nine buildings left for a three-star. Couple on the outside. The tough ones are going to be the wizard tower, the cannon, the archer tower, the mortar. Time is running out. We have only about 25 seconds left trying to decide where to go. Make sure we get all the other buildings. Send in the remaining goblins from the right-hand side. Here they come over the jump spell. Every last one is rolling in. And of course, worried about the splash from the wizard tower, but those big, powerful, sneaky goblins are going to roll in and just barely overwhelm the wizard tower, get the job done. And yes, the best revenge we've ever had in Clash of Clans. Number one, massive 53 trophy take. B, we got huge gold and elixir, dark elixir, and three, of course, we avenged our loss of our beautiful Southern Teaser base. Feel free to share your amazing revenge experiences down in the comment or in a live stream. Thank you, Galifan, for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. Now get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I hope to see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Galadon, Galadon, I always do my revenges in the freezer. Why would you do that, Peter? Because they say revenge is a dish best served cold. <laughs>